have some of the brothers and sisters over there believing that they are black and are proud of that. And then you're going to have some people like Sammy Sosa and people like when I said that's dark as me, that's going to believe that they're not black. That's the issue that I'm going to be having, right? How do you get into a relationship with somebody who feels like they're just Dominican when if you live in Dominican Republic, but you take your ass over to Spain, you're going to find out real quick. You His video just proves how esta gente are literally obsessed with Dominicans. You listen to the video, how he says, how are you going to be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't want to be black? He's thinking about relationships with Dominicans. You, you see what I'm saying? Esta gente, they want to be with Dominicans because they're not attracted to their own African-American women. They're attracted to Dominican women, right? So what they do is try to talk as much as they can about us in the bad derogatory way, right? That we're all prostitutes, we're all sluts. We all deny our blackness because that way they don't look guilty in front of their black community for chasing us, for taking flights to go pay prostitutes in the Dominican Republic to go get laid. Because they can't just man up and say, hey, I like Caribbean hot looking women. They can't just come out and say it. So what they do is they make videos in trash Dominican Republic, trash Dominicans as much as possible and go under the disguise. Oh, I'm just going out there to get laid. No, you're going out there for the music. You're going out there for the weather. You're going out there because you feel good out there. That's why. Because you know that Dominicans are hospitable, nice, generous people. You're not going to get that same treatment where you live, right? Because where you live, people are going to be grabbing their purses, right? They're going to stereotype you. So you're not going to fit in in many neighborhoods. But if you go to the Dominican Republic, you're going to feel comfortable over there. And you think you're going to be the king of the jungle when you go over there. You feel that way, right? Number two, you guys sure like to talk about Sammy Sosa. First of all, Sammy Sosa is of Haitian descent, number one. And number two, if he wanted to bleach his skin, so what? He will, He's not the first or the last. There's African countries in Africa. They spend billions a year on, on uh, bleach for their skin. How come you don't talk about that? Number three, let's talk about Lil' Kim. Not only does she bleach her skin, she's had so many freaking surgeries. If she were to fly out to California and if she were to encounter an earthquake, her little nose is going to start shaking. It's not going to handle the earthquake. Her nose is going to fall off. It's going to break off. Number three, I didn't, I didn't make the... I didn't edit the video long enough. I don't know if Amara La Negra is in there. You have a picture of Amala, Amara La Negra, a Dominican woman who clearly tells the world that she's Negra. Her, na her name is Negra. You know what Negra means? It means black. She's telling you that she's black. What part of the word black don't you understand? She's not telling you that she's Amara La Blanca. She's telling you that she's black. So your reasoning is idiotic and it doesn't make sense. You need to come again. Is what you need to do. You need to pick a better argument. Why are you always talking about, uh, oh, our brothers and sisters? No, I'm not your sister and I don't want to be your sister. I'm not attracted to brothers who have stalkerish behavior and who post 99 videos a day stalking Dominican women. That's not attractive to me. That's not attractive, attractive at all. So no, I'm not your sister. You're not my brother, okay? At this point, I'm getting disgusted with a lot of you guys. With the obsession you have with Dominicans. It's disgusting.